Hey guys, welcome to this session. In this session, I will show you that how we can make a call in iOS app uh, simply by using SIP4. And uh, let's see how we can do that. So for that, you have to create one project. So I will be selecting a single view app uh, from this template list. So select and hit on next button then give it a name to your project so i will give as call sms demo and then select the language in which you want to code so i will be selecting swift from this list then hit on next button and then select the location where you want to save your project so then create Okay, so our project environment is ready now. Now we move to storyboard and add a few UI component. Now we're going to add two button here. This one and this is for making a call. Okay and then this second button for an sms now and uh, now add one text field to get number as an input so okay so, and select And change its content type so here we're going to select the content as a telephone number okay so here it is so it will be going to take only a telephone number here and now change the background color so that our text box will be visible so I will be changing to Okay, and now change color for your. Okay, so I will make this as uh, white. This and change the background color for this also. And, uh, okay. Okay, make it black color. Okay, and similar one for your SMS button. Okay. And change the color to black. So this is it. Okay. Hmm. Now add text view, and this text view is for the messaging text. Okay. And Enter phone number case. Make it empty to this text view. Okay, so this is it. And now change color or make it background. change the background color if it's possible and make it okay now we're going to create an IP outlet for all these components and we need to write an action for these two buttons so let's do it by clicking by opening your assistant editor here now press control and drag it to to the view controller here and then name it as a call or you can write as a phone number okay phone number and then for the text view write a, a message 
So and now we're going to create an IP actions for these. So I will be uh, giving name as a call action. Oh, sorry, we created an IP outlet for this. So go again and remove an IP outlet. Otherwise, otherwise your app will going to be crash. Now we're going to drag it again. Okay, and then select action from the connections and then select UI button from here and then write call or you can you know on call press. Okay. And now for an SMS on SMS press. Oh, sorry, we did the same mistake. Okay, so we're going to select action and then UI button. Okay, and then call or SMS press. Okay, so this is it. Now I'm going to write a code. To make a call here so for this you're going to create a url variable ns url okay and then we're going to assign or instantiate it so here we're going to use this one and then we're going to write tel tell and then your contact number uh, so here we have a field here so we have used field here so we're going to take our contact number from this field so try it cell dot phone number dot text so here now we're going to Type clusters and as you are okay. Now we're going to pass this to our application share dot open. Okay. Okay, it's passed, pass it. Okay, URL. Copy and paste it here, and here we're going to pass an option empty and then middle here okay now on call now the code for making a call is ready but if you test this on your simulator it will not going to work so for that you need to try it or run this app on your iphone then it's going to work here yeah. So let's uh, write a code for an SMS and for that you need to import import and one more lab, uh, library message UI here okay and then and I have already told you that if you are using their delegates then please try to create an extension for class okay extension for a class that it can be easily manageable oh, okay message control okay and then here it is and here it will ask you to uh, use the delegate here so or you can confirm it by typing as a, okay so switch now click on this button and then fix it will going to enter a delegate for you so our delegate is used now now we're going to present a message composer so for that we need to first of all check whether 
uh, whether our device is compatible with uh, whether our device can send a text or not so to do that we need to check this flag or check this value okay and now we're going to create a composer controller okay runs and then mf message view controller okay we're going to use this so use a uh, controller dot body you're going to uh, pass our text so we are passing text from message text dot text here okay and now we need to pass an array of our recipients and uh, so here we will going to pass our phone number phone number dot text it takes as an array if you want to uh, send this message to multiple users then you need to pass it or uh, you need to add those all numbers in an array okay now we are going to okay now we're going to tell message composer that their delegate is used in this controller so we're going to set message compose delegate equals to self and now we're going to present this controller present this controller okay and then true and you're going to pass a nil here okay so this is it and in else we're going to send friend and we will let user know that you can't send a message or your device is not supported send text you okay now we're going to run this code and let's see that whether it work on simulated or not so here it is okay and let's remove this from the logger and now we're going to see the how it works so click on one two three four five six nine and if you press on call okay in this way it will going to make a call but as of as of now we are testing this on simulator so it will not going to make a call our simulator our simulator is not uh, supporting call and sms sms services so let's try this on your iphone devices and so in the similar way let's try by sending a text message and you will see that it will going to print it will going to log it cannot send text to your sms so it so you can see that it is not supporting so let's try it on your device thanks for watching this video